So, as you can probably tell, the last video that we published was a really tough one to shoot. And just like for so many people and so many businesses around the world, the last couple weeks have been, have been really tough. Two months ago, all of us were in Indian Wells and we were doing our normal yearly trip to do private coaching and group coaching. And of course, all this craziness started to happen and eventually we had to cut that trip short, come back here with $50,000, $60,000 worth of coaching that we have to make up. Thank you so much, by the way, all of our students for being understanding with that and, and allowing us to, to book times later in the year uh, to make all of our coaching up. Incredible uh, support by all of our followers that were signed up for our private coaching and our group coaching. But we came home four weeks early from that California trip and in-person coaching is about half of the revenue at Essential Tennis and then the other half is is the online coaching that we do the the digital courses so this has put us in a, in a really tough spot because people can't travel right now and that's the case for so many businesses around the world right now in fact I feel incredibly grateful and incredibly fortunate that we have the support of so many of you out there that continue to support us through our digital resources and, and our digital programs and, and courses. So I feel incredibly fortunate to be in the place that, that I'm in right now. But with Kevin and Megan you know, leaving and we got rid of our office downtown because it just didn't make sense anymore with the two of them moving away. There's just been a whole lot of, of change behind the scenes here at Essential Tennis over the last couple weeks. And so I wanted to let you in on that and also kind of answer the question. A lot of you asked the question in the video before this one. So, so what's happening now? Like, is the channel shutting down? Like, are you done? Are you going to replace Kevin and Megan? Are, are more coaches going to come on? Well, before I, I answer those questions, and, and I will, I just thought it was important to kind of quickly go back through uh, a brief reflection on what brought us to, to this point right now. And I started publishing content in 2008. The YouTube channel started in 2009. And for six years here on the YouTube channel, I wore all the hats. I did the shooting. I did the editing, I did the lights, the audio, the, the publishing, and I, I did all of that by myself without any production people, without any other coaches. And that was the, the start of, of Essential Tennis. And then James came on, my brother, he's, he's been on for over six years now. He's been doing production and been incredible to have him on. And then Ira came on in 2015 and then Kirby in 2016 and then once the two of them transitioned on then Kevin and Megan came on and so now for the last six years I've been working and collaborating with with other coaches next to me and that's been incredible and I've been super blessed to have a great relationship with with all of those coaches I've learned a ton from from being alongside those those experts and uh, I feel super blessed to have spent the last six years with those coaches but now it feels kind of obvious to me with how much craziness is, is going on in the world and how much uncertainty there is and just kind of the position that we're in right now. It feels right to me that I just kind of go on my own again for a little while and kind of go back to the way it used to be where, where I was the only one that was in front of the camera and the only one that was on the court. I do still plan and I, I need support sometimes because we have some group stuff that's scheduled for here. You may see appearances again from, from Ira and, and maybe Kirby on the courts or, or in our content. But for the most part, I think for the next several months and for the foreseeable future, I'm pretty sure it's going to go back to me. And I feel like this is a big opportunity to kind of reset, to kind of start fresh and I feel like there's an opportunity now to kind of reinvent what essential tennis is 
And those of you who are watching this video have the opportunity to play a big role in that. And I think that's only fair because those of you watching this video have been the ones that have given the support, that have given the, the energy and the encouragement and the feedback. There's no question that I would not, I would not be here doing this right now if it wasn't for the support of people that have encouraged me along the way, that have uh, given me energy and inspiration. And so many of you out there watching this right now have been a big part of that. So right now, what I'd like to do is kind of ask you a question. What, what do you want to see? What do you, what do you think would be the most exciting way for me to go down a new or, or different path with this channel? To just kind of answer the question directly, I will continue to do this. This is still my passion. And when I get up in the morning, this is still what I want to do. I, I love making content. I love engaging with students in person. I still love coaching. And I love engaging with, with all of you on our, our different platforms and our different programs online. So I will absolutely continue to do this. But I think that this period right now is a big chance for me to reevaluate what that should look like or what that could look like. And we're already working on some things in the, in the background behind the scenes that will probably be a part of what, of what that looks like moving forwards. But I'd love to hear from you, what would you like to see? three kind of ideas or, or pictures that I have in my head are number one, I think a year or two ago, we published a video called something like my crappy backhand. And it was a video of me guiding myself on the courts with an iPad, with a tripod, through trying to fix my own technical flaws. And looking back at that video, it was the only video that we did like that, but the feedback was, incredible and I'm in a point and I'm in a place now where there's no longer other coaches around me that I'm collaborating with and I'm, I'm kind of free to do my own thing and I feel like this might be a, an opportunity for me to spend time on my own game it's something that tennis coaches never ever get to do and I feel like I kind of have that opportunity now so that's for me one thing that comes to mind for me is to spend some time exploring on camera and documenting what it would look like for me to address my own flaws. I got lots of them. And so I'm, I'm wondering what, what if I spent some time over the next weeks and months working on my own flaws and showing you how I do that and documenting the, the process and the before and after changes and trying to fix some of the technical flaws that I have in, <coughs> that I have in my own game, excuse me. So that's kind of thought number one. Thought number two is kind of continue down that path of self improvement and development and start to sign up for tournaments and do competitive tennis. Again, something that normally when you're a tennis coach, you don't have the time to do that. You don't have the energy to, to do that. When your job is to be on a tennis court working with students, when you walk off the court, the last thing you want to do is go hit tennis balls or go play. Some coaches do. And I've always respected those coaches tremendously because it's very, very hard to, to still have the energy, still have the, the, the passion at the end of 40 hours of being on a court with other players helping, that, helping their students' games to then have the, the drive and the passion and the energy to work on your own game is really tough. So for the first time now in six years, I'm in a position where I have my own tennis court. I don't have other coaches that I'm collaborating with. And so it kind of feels to me like maybe this is an opportunity for me to focus on myself a little bit, something I've never done before as a coach or as a content creator. And then uh, finally, I, I will absolutely continue to coach. We have a lot of people signed up for whenever it's safe to start working with students again. So I can't wait to spend time with those students. And we have, we've been working in the background on ideas how to make how to make documenting and sharing what I do here with students more engaging and more interesting and, and fun to watch. 
So those are, those are three things that I have in mind that, that I think might be fun to pursue. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you appreciate that we are still pushing forwards and we're gonna do the best we can to continue providing you with, with the best resources, the best guidance, the best coaching and instruction possible, do me a favor and just click like on this video. It would mean a lot to me. Can't wait to hear what you have to say.